Hi, I'm Tom Go, and I'm the producer of a brand new production from CD Projekt Red Studio, which is called The Witcher Mysterious Secrets. I gotta say that we're really excited to be bringing The Witcher onto a very new platform. Of course, we all realize that handhelds are far more powerful than PCs and consoles altogether, but um, thanks to this move, we'll finally be able to break all the barriers that we've encountered so far. We actually believe that we can take full advantage of the computing power that comes with an 8-bit processor and fill up all of these 23 kilobytes of data. So you can easily expect to have some really brand new groundbreaking features like physics shaders 9.0 and well I can't name them all, they're actually under NDA now so you can what I can tell you is you can expect really interesting and intriguing stuff. And on top of that, The Witcher Mysterious Secrets is going to be the first game uh, to feature a prototype of what we call the motion capture technology. Uh, actually, all of the three animations that we've used in this game are going to be using this technology. And what I can tell you is this is one of the most fantastic things I've ever seen in my life. It's splendid, really. Here's a real quick example of how we do motion capture animation. Uh, here we have a base a construct, a model of an animal. It's a sloth. And this is how it looks uh, before applying an animation. And here you have a huge difference after applying a motion capture, lively, great looking animation. Obviously, all these technical details are not the only features that we're going to be implementing in this game. And one of the really surprising and great things about the gameplay uh, of The Witcher Mysterious Secrets is going to be the possibility of roaming in a world that we're creating free. Namely, you'll be able to move left and right without any limitations. So, uh, supposedly the game is about to take around 17 minutes of gameplay, but with this possibility to roam anywhere you want, either left or right, it's up to you. You're gonna be able to play as long as you want. Just tell me how cool is that. And also, there's a brand new thing, which is a non-linear story in The Witcher Mysterious Secrets. Uh, you'll be able to choose a weapon that you want to use against your enemies. You might be able to use sword, and you might be able to use magic. It's totally up to you. So, at first, I'm gonna be frank with you right now. At first, we were really afraid to give players so much freedom. But after all this time that we've spent developing this game, it's been almost a week now, and we're really sure that we made a great choice by doing this. So the game is going to have a non-linear story, giving you a really wide variety of choices. Sword, magic, choose. There's one last thing that we're particularly proud of. It's what we call the decision and in consequence system. It works like this, whenever you have a choice in the game, it doesn't really matter which path you choose, because from there on, we have scripted everything. So, uh, it's like a manifest that we're putting out to tell all the developers that would like to impose their will on the players and tell them, you might want to replay your game, it's fun or whatever. We know that not everybody wants to replay their games, and that's why we're putting decision and in consequence system. It's like it's like you, you're gonna see everything in one playthrough. It's like reading a book, or like driving a car, like planting a tree, or something. Okay, to the quadrilateral. Okay, get going, sorry. 
So make sure you don't miss our game, The Witcher Mysterious Secret. It's coming out somewhere between Tuesday and Friday 2010. We're not implementing 3D technology. No way. 3D is going nowhere these days. Tell it to them. Yeah. Where was I?